So let's move ahead on our way. What's going to happen next? Fine. Now, as, as, as I told you that hydroxide ion will be generated, now you can see. Now, you, again, you have a quaternary ammonium ion and again, you have to think for elimination. And again, this is the carbon from which elimination can be done. If you abstract hydrogen from this carbon, this carbon is going to form a bond with this carbon and this whole thing is going to come out. So what you have is this. 1,3-butane diene. And this tri-substituted amine is going to come out. So this is your final organic product that we were looking for. 1,3-butane diene, that is your final product. All right. Okay. Now there are other reactions uh, which which involves ring substitution. Suppose I have aniline and I have added bromine to this aniline. Now this kind of substitution reaction we have seen in the chapter of hydrocarbon. What happened there? We used to take benzene and we used to take bromine along with aluminium bromide, ALBR3 like this. Now this ALBR3 used to generate a bromine, bromium ion Br plus and this bromium ion used to go and attack this, used to go and react with this benzene and to form bromobenzene. Fine. So we have seen the mechanism and everything for this kind of reaction. Now here, what will happen? The same kind of thing will happen. I mean, there will be bromina bromination of this uh, aromatic ring, but we have not taken any ALBr3 because the purpose of ALBr3 is to produce Br plus ion. We don't require Br plus ion here for the reason that here this ortho and para positions have, have partial negative charge polarity. In this case, benzene was completely neutral. So you require a plus charge to be able to approach this benzene ring. Now in this case, we don't require a plus charge. What happens is, this benzene ring itself comes to bromine for the reaction. For the reason that these ends, these three carbons has plus charge polarity and the why it has plus charge polarity, we studied long back because of resonance. If you start to draw the resonating structure of aniline, the nit this nitrogen has a lone pair. This nitrogen can pump in electron. For pumping, this carbon must be electron deficient. To make it electron deficient, let's shift this electron of this pi bond away from the carbon. So when you shift it away from the carbon, this carbon at ortho position develops a negative charge. The other two pi bonds remain as it is. Now this carbon generates a plus charge on itself. This plus charge and this lone pair. Then nitrogen starts to pump its electron into this carbon. So a bond is formed between carbon and nitrogen. So they are double, there's, there's a bond already. One more bond will be formed. There will be a double bond between carbon and nitrogen. And this, here the charge comes at ortho. If you draw one more resonating structure, this, this negative charge will come at para position and then again at ortho position and then it will go back to nitrogen. So there will be five RS. In 3RS, there will be the charge on, on, on the ring. So at ortho and para position. That's why I have shown partial negative charge at ortho and para position. Now, when there's partial negative charge at ortho and para position, if you remember haloform reaction, after the first step, when you have a negative charge on the carbon and this iodine, this negative charge went and attacked this iodine like this. And then you have iodine attached to carbon fine so this is something we have seen before if you have a negative charge on carbon that will go and attack this i2 
Similarly, if you have a partial negative charge at carbon, that will go and attack this bromine. So you don't require any AlBr3 here. What will happen? This bromine would be attacked by this partial negative charge on the carbon. And this bromine will form a bond with this carbon. Fine? Fine. So the final product here would be Two, four, six, tribromo aniline. Now all the three positions have sufficient negative charge polarity. The reaction would be from all the three positions and bromine is going to be attached at all the three positions. So you will have two, four, six, tribromo aniline. This is what you will have once you react with bromine. Okay. Now if you, if there will be tribromination. Tri, -sub tri substituted product we will have and the reason is because it is highly activated ring because of resonance with nitrogen nitrogen has pumped its electron into the ring and the three positions have high charge polarity if we want mono substituted product if we want mono brominated product then that pumping of electron has to be reduced and the act the, the ring should be less activated that means the extent of resonance with nitrogen if we can reduce that then the charge polarities will reduce and the extent of reaction will reduce. Now the technology to do that is as follows. If we make this aniline to react with uh, acyl chloride, then we will have uh, amide like this. Fine, this chlorine will go and this nitrogen will form a bond with carbon, no problem. Now the here, this nitrogen is pumping its electron into the benzene ring and this nitrogen is also having a resonance with the C double bond O. So this nitrogen is in cross conjugation, it is in conjugation with C double bond O, it is in conjugation with phenyl ring as well. So now the reson extent of resonance of nitrogen with the phenyl ring will decrease because nitrogen is also doing resonance with the C double bond O. So this time, what this nitrogen, the amount, the extent of resonance with this nitrogen was showing with phenyl ring, that has been decreased because of cross conjugation. So this ring is less activated. So the charges this time on ortho and para positions are less. So the extent of reaction would be less. So now if we add bromine, so bromine will add to single position. There will be mono substitution of this phenyl ring and because of hindrance at ortho position because of this bulky group at ortho there will be hindrance so this bromine gets attached to para position fine now this is the amide if you carry out hydrolysis of amide you will get amine and carboxylic acid fine so if you just carry out hydrolysis So from this right hand side your acid is going to come out. We are not concerned with that. From the left hand side your product will come out para bromo aniline. So now you can mono substitute this aniline or mono brominate this aniline using this kind of pathway. Okay so this is important how you, you would get para bromo aniline because if you carry out bromination you will get tri bromination will occur on this aniline ring if you want para bromo aniline this is how you have to proceed okay